In this video, we are going to consider integrals of this form. Okay. Now, if I have an integral of this form, the integral of f of x, where f of x is raised to the power of n, dx, this is what the rule says. The integral of f of x all raised to the power of n dx is equal to f of x to the power of that n plus 1 okay divided by the n plus 1 times the first derivative of f of x that's with respect to x then add the arbitrary constant to it now let us apply this to solve a problem what will be the integral of 2x plus 3 all to the power of 4 dx now check something if this power were to be 2 if we had 2x plus 3 all to the power of 2 okay we could just expand easily all right we could just expand it but we are having the power of 4 here is kind of is bigger than two okay so we can't actually um stand the stress of expanding this polynomial with a degree of four so it's kind of stressful so we can just easily apply this formula or alternatively we'll go through the stress of integrating using the method of integration by substitution so i actually see this formula as a simple approach to evaluating integrals that we can evaluate using integration by substitution yes so let's go ahead f of x here now is 2x plus 3 and n is to the power of what 4 okay applying the formula it is equal to this f of x to the power of n plus 1 that is 2x plus 3 all to the power of 4 plus 1 all right n is 4 divided by the 4 plus 1 times f prime of x which is the first derivative of the function with respect to x so we are going to differentiate this function now okay what is the derivative of 2x plus 3 with respect to x the first derivative is going to produce a 2 2 okay that is it differentiate 2x plus 3 with respect to x is going to produce 2. Differentiate 2x two to get 2. Differentiate 3 to get 0. That's 2. So, times 2. Then we have to add the arbitrary constant to it. That means the final solution will be this. We have 2x plus 3 all to the power of 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And here we have 5 also. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, all over 10, plus c. This is the indefinite integral of this function with respect to x. It's as simple as this. Well, there will be a video for integration by substitution, okay? So just stay tuned, keep following to get updated whenever the video comes up, alright? Now, we can apply this formula to evaluate uh, the integral of a function where the function is a radical this is what i'm saying for example i want to evaluate the integral of 1 all over the square root of 1 minus 2x dx using this formula will it work yes it will work let's see how it's going to work let us first of all write or should i say simplify this um, function now to a form like this f of x all to the power of n okay so what i'm saying we have the integral of one upon a square root is equivalent to a power of one over two so we have one minus two x to the power of one half x so if i take the inverse of this all right it's going to produce a negative power that is 1 minus 2x we now have a negative power it is equivalent to the integral of 1 minus 2x to the power of minus 1 over 2 dx all right very quickly before i proceed 
In this case, n is not equal to minus 1. Because if n is equal to minus 1, the entire function becomes undefined. Right? So, we are not dealing with a power of minus 1. That's just the truth. We are dealing with other powers. The powers could be rational. Okay? For this integral, let's proceed. Using this principle, what's f of x here? f of x is 1 minus 2x. Okay? 1 minus 2x. So, it will be equal to f of x to the power of n plus 1. This is n minus 1 half. So, 1 minus 2x to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus 1. All divided by what? Minus 1 over 2 plus 1, which is n plus 1, times the first derivative of the function with respect to x. If we differentiate 1 minus 2x with respect to x, we are going to obtain minus 2. How is it so? Differentiate 1 with respect to x, it will give us 0. 1 is a constant, and the derivative of a constant, it actually with respect to any variable, is 0. And if we differentiate minus 2x with respect to x, it's going to produce minus 2. So we have minus 2 at the bottom. And we are going to add the arbitrary constant to it. So let's simplify and we are done. We have 1 minus 2x to the power of minus 1 half plus 1 is 1 minus 1 over 2, which is half, 1 over 2. Right? Here, we still have 1 over 2 times what? Minus 2. Okay, 2 can cancel 2 plus the arbitrary constant. So, if the minus can go up, we we'll have minus into 1 minus 2x to the power of 1 over 2 plus c. You can leave it this way, or we can write it like this. Minus 1 over 2 attracts a square root. That is, it signifies a square root. So we can take the square root of 1 minus 2x, all right, plus the arbitrary constant. So this is the integral of this very function that we have here with respect to x. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel. Like the video and share it to your friends and your classmates. I am the Complex Analyzer, and I will see you in the next one.